Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face using makeup that is $10, 10 dollars and under. I love doing these videos. I've done a few in the past. I will have them linked either in the cards or in the description box down below. So make sure you guys check them out in case you are looking for a little eye inspiration. I don't have tons of new makeup to use, but we are going to finally test out the Profusion Sapphire Palette. Profusion is like one of my favorite brands to test out on my channel because their palettes for the most part are really good and the price is crazy, crazy affordable. So that's what we're going to do today. I hope you guys are ready. So make sure you are comfy, relaxing, grab your cafecito. I finally have mine. Yay! I've been making so much coffee and my new Ninja coffee maker. Cheers to you, Clink, if you are drinking a coffee with me. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. For my foundation, I am going to be taking my current favorite, which is the Shein foundation. I did do a full review and wear test. If you guys want to watch that, I will have it linked up in the cards. But before we do that, we are going to prime the skin. I'm going to take this Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Stay Put Makeup Primer. I've never actually tried this. So this is going to be a first impressions. Oh, I really don't know if I like this. It's very liquidy. I do like something that's going to make my pores look a little bit smaller. So we might have to grab something else. Hmm. Okay, don't know that I like that. I am going to be trying out some new makeup sponges. I ordered these a while ago. My package took forever to come, but these are the ColourPop, I don't know what these are called, but they come with a bunch of uh, little sponges, and I ordered them when I had them on sale. So it comes with a velvet, detail, hourglass, complexion, and a silicone. These are super cute. So I'm going to use this one for the foundation, and then I'm going to go in with this one, the detailed one for like the concealer i know that's a little extra but this one is super cute and it reminds me of the shape of the dose of colors uh foundation sponge that i've been dying to try okay we're gonna go in and push that into the skin this foundation is super long wearing you guys and it's matte which is the best part of it is that it's full coverage and it's matte so if you are oily i think you were really gonna like this foundation Okay, so uh, so far this sponge is definitely not my favorite. It's very stiff, and I don't like that. I don't like stiff sponges. I like it to be a little more soft. Maybe the velvet one would work best. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to have to try that for another video. Actually, we can probably try this. I am waiting for my e.l.f. BB cream. BB cream, CC cream foundation to come in the mail. And as soon as I get that in you guys, I'm going to do a review for you, of course. But for now, we're just going to stick with this. I've been wanting to do a blue eye shadow tutorial for the longest time. And as you guys can see, like my uploading schedule has been on and off. And it's just one my mom is here i have not told you guys i just been kind of mia and i'm so sorry life has just been very very hectic for me lately uh but my mom is here from mexico if you guys remember she comes here at least once a year she actually came back in april when we went or back in march february march when we went to california she was here and then uh we brought her back for the holidays just because we don't want her to be alone. My grandpa recently passed away, and so she was, you know, feeling a little bit sad, and we just brought her home for the holiday. So she's here, which, you know, I've been spending time with her and stuff. So, yeah. There's that. For my concealer, I'm going to use this one by CoverGirl. I hope this is under $10. Like, I didn't even check if all of these products were under 10 but I know that most of these are. <laughs> for sure so um yeah fingers crossed on that there is so much makeup coming out you guys like oh my gosh it literally overwhelms me how much makeup there is like 
I can't even keep up, honestly. I would love to know what are your favorite launches that you've seen so far? Or what is something that you would want me to review? Because I've been kind of like stuck with not knowing what to film. A part of me wants to switch to more like lifestyle videos. I feel like I have a following of moms so if you're a mom and you would like to see more like mom related content obviously beauty will always be on my channel because that's like where my true passion lies but if you guys would like to see more personal more lifestyle vlogs you know like cooking videos and like a day in my life what i eat in a day um spend a day with me things like that that are just more lifestyle related please let me know because I really like my goal for 2021 is to really grow my channel and my views and I feel like my channel has just been stuck obviously I want to grow my following but I feel like maybe beauty is like not it for me you know let's quickly set PS I did like this bunch way more than the other one it's still a little bit stiff but not as much as that one for my setting powder I've been loving this one by iHeart Revolution this is the peach setting powder i did notice though that this does not that it oxidizes the skin but it does leave you that like peachy undertone which duh like it's to be expected so we're gonna bake for a minute okay because my skin was super not oily but very hydrated because i've been wearing tons of moisturizer mm. my skin has been extra dry because it's been snowing so much here in utah for my bronzer i'm going to chew to, to, to use this one by J Cat Beauty. This is the Marshmallow Bronzer and this is in the shade Angel Kisses. It is such a strange consistency. It's like putty, but it's not a cream. It's like a, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just going to apply that right here. I haven't been bringing my bronzer in too much like these past couple of days that I've been doing my makeup. I kind of just keep it like up in the hairline and I really like that. This bronzer is so creamy and so pigmented. I love the undertone. It just makes you look super like a sun kiss. Do you guys see how it gives you a nice, a nice bronzy finish to the skin? Do you guys hear Lincoln? He's down here in his little swing. I'm gonna let this bake for a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been dying to show you the blush that I've been using. I recently picked it up, but the days that I have been using it, I've been obsessed with it. This is by the bland, bland, brand Black Radiant. This is the Toasted Almond uh, Baked Blush. If you guys are darker skin than me, this blush is going to look so amazing on your skin. Like you're not going to want to use anything else. And I just dropped the brush, so. They are really pigmented, but just taking a little bit at a time. And it's such a strange color. Like, I've never seen a blush like this, which is why I bought it was because it was really intriguing. I'm like, hmm, that would look so beautiful on, like, dark skin. Obviously, Black Radiance is meant for all my melanin babies out there. <laughs> let's move on to the highlighter i think i'm just gonna use this one honestly because this is what i've been using the wet n wild halo highlighter it's just so bomb and it just looks really pretty on the skin just gonna take actually i'm gonna mix them both mm, i know this looks a little sharp i'm gonna fix that <laughs> I was just looking at it, I was like, dang, I wish my cheekbones were like that. But I don't know, I gotta have a round face. Okay, so I think I fixed it. It's still a little, a little sharp, but that's okay. <laughs> I feel like a spice girl with this hair. Okay, no? Okay, let's move on to the eye, shall we? I am addicted to drinking coffee. It is so bad, but I've been trying to be good at drinking water. Where's my water? 
So I want to create this like almost like a soft glam on the eyes and add a little bit of rhinestones. I have this really beautiful baby blue eyeshadow that I want to wear all over the lid. Like this is such a vibe. Okay, so before we go into the eyeshadow, I am going to take the shade Mellow, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to set the brow. Wow, this is really pretty and pigmented. I'm so curious to see how this eye palette is going to work. But let's go in with the shade Bermuda, which is that nice, like a baby blue. And I'm going to apply, uh, apply that on the crease. Ooh, okay. That's really pretty, but obviously once it's all like blended out, is it going to stay is the question. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I mean, rhinestones isn't crazy. Ooh, God bless you. Okay, so far... Uh, this eyeshadow is like an A+. Plus. It's blending out super, super nicely. And it's not patchy. It's not powdery. It's showing up really nice on the skin. And this eyeshadow is super hard because I feel like they usually like will just dust away if that makes sense once you start blending. I am going to take a little bit of Nautical which is this gorgeous blue. And I'm gonna apply that underneath the blue that we just laid down. That is pretty, but it's definitely not as pigmented as I was hoping it would be, but that's okay. I'm not gonna bring this color in. I'm just going to mainly keep it here, like halfway in, just here, blending it into the lid. And then I'm going to grab Frostbite, which is a gorgeous, like, shimmery white. It's this one right here, and I'm going to pop that into the inner corner. Cool. It's white, but it has, like, a obviously, like, a baby blue undertone. It is so, so pretty, and if you get this wet, it's going to pop even more. I don't know why I'm applying it now before my eyeshadow, but now I'm going to go in with my... Dreamer Press Metal Eyeshadow by JCat Beauty. These honestly apply better with your fingers, but Mama has long nails. So I added rhinestones to this side of the eye just to get a like an idea of how it's gonna look, and I think it looks super cute. Obviously, you don't have to do this, but this is just for fun. I'm going to grab a lash glue and I'm going to apply one in the center. So there's one in the middle. Then I'm applying one right here. Rhinestones. For my lashes, I am going to actually take my very own lash style of my brand of lashes. Yeah, that makes sense. These are in the style La Jefa, which means boss. These are only $6, and these are faux mink lashes. So we're going to pop these on. So to finish off, I think I'm going to mix these two <laughs> lipsticks, the NYX Line and Load and Never Listen. Mary go and then I'm gonna use this Sheila and ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip and slow down. And then to finish off the look, I'm just going to set everything in place using the BD Creations Flawless Day Setting Spray. And this is a full face UC makeup, $10 and under. What do you guys think? I feel like I stepped out a little bit of my comfort zone with the rhinestones and the blue. Even though I 
have done blue tutorials in the past. It's just not a color that I feel comfortable using. I just don't think I can personally rock it. But I love how this look turned out. It's very simple and minimalistic, but it's a very... I don't know. What do you guys call this look? I want to know in the comment section and down below what do you guys think of this look, if you're going to recreate it, and if you do... Don't forget to tag me on my Instagram. You can add me here or here and I will be sure to give you some love. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you all. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.